welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a wear test plus review on a new lip product. This is my first time doing a wear test on a lip product so I'm super excited. And this is the Marc Jacobs, I think it's just their liquid lipstick I'm pretty sure, just their liquid lipsticks. I got mine off of Sephora and I'm super excited to share how about this. And yes, I am doing this later in the day. It's like 4.30 right now to take you guys along with my day or half of my day. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so I'm going to give you some information about this liquid lipstick by Marc Jacobs. I got mine on, on um, in Sephora. I was like, what's the word? I got mine in Sephora stores. And I feel like, I think you can get this off of the Sephora's website and store. So I'll link it down below. And so the Marc Jacobs Beauty. Um, what do you call it? La Marc Liquid Lip Cream. Cream. That's fancy. Um, so this is what it looks like on the Sephora website. It just has the liquid lipstick. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six shades. And it retails for $28. Which is pretty expensive. Sorry. It's pretty expensive for a liquid lipstick. I just gotta say. It's Marc Jacobs. No surprise but it is a little expensive um fancy name um <laughs> got really good reviews it got five four and a half stars and i got the shade which is slow wait, slow burn which is a creamy nude rose and yeah i'm super excited it says a hydrating eight hour wear Ooh, we'll see if it's eight, uh, eight hours and comfortable and hydrating we'll see <laughs> Um, liquid lipstick and a range of bold, fun, full coverage nudes. What it does, last in wear meets hydration for a completely new liquid lipstick sensation with Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. Enjoy the ink just, uh, creaminess of this liquid lipstick. Now available in the luxurious liquid formula that glides on into lips so that they slay looking plump and full all day long. Formulated with blah 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 ingredients and stuff. So we'll see all the, if those all of those claims are true about this liquid lipstick or like Marc Jacobs like to say lip cream. But yeah, I'm super excited. And this is a new product on the market. And this is what the let's see if there's any. Mmm. It smells like vanilla cake. Like cupcake. It's not too cupcakey. y it's not too sweet, it's more like a subtle sweet. It's still noticeable, the scent, obviously, if you don't like scents. Uh, if you don't like scents in your liquid lipstick or lip products, you wouldn't like this, because it's definitely noticeable, but it kind of smells like vanilla cupcakes kind of thing. <laughs> but this is what the applicator looks like. I kind of like the smell, honestly. I love smell, like things that smell good on li um, lip products. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's just a, like, I think it's just like a normal doe foot, honestly. Nothing special about it, to be honest, I don't think. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing really special about it, honestly. It's just like a paddly, paddly doe. It kind of has more paddle than a regular doe foot. It's more like a paddle, but it's not, I don't know how to explain it. You guys can see for yourself, but. That's what it looks like. The doe foot thing. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys will see. <laughs> but I love the, it, it. They have mo they have like nudes. So if you're into like bright, fun colors, I don't think this line would be good for you. They only have nudes. But I'm gonna be applying this with to my lips now. Let's see. Hmm. It glides on really smooth. But I do feel like I have to go in a second time. I feel like there was not, not enough product on that one dip. But that's what one dip looks like. I still think there's a little bit of areas where it needs a little bit more. So I'm just going to dump it in. Let's see. Hmm. The guides are really nice. Hmm. It's really opaque. I like it. I love this color. It's like a perfect pinky nude. Oh. It's more on the darker side, though, over new, but I love it. Okay, 
So I think that's enough. That was two dips. I think that looks good. So this definitely feels super hydrated on the lips. It feels like you have nothing on your lips. Literally, it feels so comfortable. And let's see if it, well, I'm gonna give it some time to dry first, but oh my God, it feels super comfortable. It feels like I had nothing. It feels super lightweight. It looks super like good on my lips. It doesn't, it actually, maybe crackle, maybe it's kind of showing my like, what's the word for it? Like, 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 um, cracks in my lips, but I love this color. Oh my God. But, oh my God. That's what it looks like. It feels super, super, duper hydrating. Like, it just feels amazing. And we're gonna see how this wears. It looks really nice on the lips. It does no complaints. It doesn't, it's not going on my lip. It's not going on my teeth. Let's see if it dried down yet. Not yet, but, ooh, it's not sticky at all. It doesn't put my lips together. It's just hydrating, nice feeling. I love it, Oh. And it doesn't look cracky. It doesn't look like my lips are drying yet, at least. We'll find out later. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I really like the way this looks. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't look streaky. It was super easy to glide on. It didn't look streaky, patchy. This shade is literally bay. And it didn't cause streaks. It went on super opaque, full intensity pigment. No streaks, no, patchy, no patches. Super impressed super, so far. I feel so lightweight. It doesn't feel like as lightweight as like a lip, um, like a lip balm, obviously, but like a lipstick or something like that, or lip gloss. But it feels really like comfortable, um, which I love. So it still hasn't dried down yet. We're a place to put it, but still hasn't dried down. I'm gonna put. It, I'm just gonna put a little bit more more on since I put on my lips. Okay, that's good. So, oh, it did go like up. Uh, but I apply a little bit more. It did go on my teeth. Sorry about that. But it did go on my teeth a little bit. A little bit more. I feel like when I put my lips together like that, it kind of does that. But it doesn't feel slip sidey at all, even though it went on my teeth. It doesn't feel slip sidey, and it doesn't feel like it's going to, like, like, uh, like, separate or... Do any of that, so that's what it looks like. See, as I, when I go like this, it like goes on my teeth a little bit, but I think it looks amazing. It looks my, my my lips look hydrated. Doesn't look like there's cracks. It hasn't dried down yet, but I I, I probably will. So I'll just let you guys know in my check-ins if it dries if it dried down yet, but I'm. I'm a ho it probably will. It's a matte. I'm hoping it's a matte liquid lipstick, but hasn't dried down yet. But I'll let you guys know at like my ch um, check-ins if it dried down throughout the day and all of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna see you guys in my next check-in. So far, so good. So yeah, bye. Hey guys, first and final check-in. It is currently. 10 oh, oh, <laughs> 4 in the night. Oh, focus. 10 oh, 4 in the night time. I've been wearing this how many hours? I applied it for five hours. Right? So, five hours. That's a lot of hours for a liquid lipstick. Um, so, let's see how this looks. As you can see, I ate greasy, greasy. It looks, it looks okay. It doesn't look amazing. It looks like mostly wore off. But I ate greasy French fries, hamburger, and this was still on. It's still on my lips, but it's not. It's not like as I. It doesn't look as good as I first applied it. Obviously, I ate grease, but I'm still really impressed for when I ate French fries. Like I didn't feel. It was wearing off, it didn't go on my chin, it didn't bleed, it felt comfortable throughout the whole day. I didn't have to reapply, um, it felt really good, um, doesn't sticky, it did not dry down. That's the thing I don't like about this to be honest. I, every time I drank it went on the cup, Every I even tested it on my hand if it went like this. And it did transfer the whole entire day. So I thought it was going to be like a matte liquid lipstick, but it's actually like a lip lacquer, like a... um. Something that doesn't dry down completely, but it's still a liquid lipstick, if that makes sense. 
But um, overall, I'm really impressed. Like any, like even though it doesn't dry down matte, doesn't mean if I didn't like it. Like honestly, it's super comfortable and super moisturizing and hydrating. Um, it definitely wore, it wore okay. I think it could have worn a little bit better, but like I said, I was eating greasy food, I was eating chips, I was eating all of that, like a normal kid would eat, but, um, like, it went, it was good. It was stayed on, I think around, it was 7 o'clock where it kind of faded, so like around 7 o'clock it started, started to fade, but overall, like, the rest of the day too it was still on my lips and i got so many compliments and it just looked amazing and i was kissing my dog i was, I was kissing my dog i was doing all that <laughs> so i would think it would fade um i thought it was like i said i didn't i didn't go into kissing my dog being like oh it's a matte gold lipstick it's not going to transfer but it did transfer um i felt super comfortable it didn't crack it, it it wasn't drying at all my lips did not look like tr didn't feel chapped or i didn't need a lip balm or any of that they weren't drying it felt super comfortable it was super hydrating and it didn't feel like i had anything on it didn't bleed on the sides or give me that butthole lip which i do not like at all butthole lips are my worst fear but that didn't do any of it it didn't bleed it didn't crack it didn't go on my chin or my teeth that's good. I went on my teeth maybe a little bit, but it didn't go on my chin or any of that. Or my nose. Some good like lipsticks will go on my nose. And I'm like, oh, how did that get there to there? But, yeah. I didn't do any of that. It, it's just amazing. Um, I wouldn't recommend this if you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick. Cause just because it doesn't dry down completely. But, overall, I'm really impressed with this. It's super comfortable, super lightweight super hydrating i love these kind of lip lacquer lip pink whatever you want to call them for the winter time because they're super moisturizing they last quite a bit of one this one, especially this one because it's like like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a lip paint so it's kind of like in between that that's why it lasts a little bit longer than like um like the melted look li lipsticks by toothpaste or something like that so I am really impressed. It did not feel sticky. It did not feel tacky. It did not feel slip slidey at all, too, which I appreciate. And oh, I'm just super impressed with this liquid lipstick. Oh. I am super impressed. I love the how it wore. It wore gracefully, and, it, and I'm really impressed. Like we had this on for five hours. Well, it's not that long if you think about it. Like five hours isn't a long, long time for a liquid lipstick wear test. Um, but if you're thinking about it, I ate greasy, greasy food. I kissed my dog, so you would think it would wear off. Um, but I think if you weren't doing, like, if you weren't eating greasy food or kissing your dog or whatever, for a more longer of a time, just because I was doing all that, it wore off a little bit more. But overall, I know it doesn't look like it's still there. It's completely worn off most of it. So maybe a little bit still left, but um, just because I ate so much food <laughs> and I kissed my dog, but... If you're not going to be doing that on a daily basis, then you would like this because it's not going to, like, it would last longer than five hours how I wore it. But yes, um, I think this is going to be my final check-in because this is a good check-in place. Um, five hours, I think, is a long time, especially when I've been eating greasy food and stuff. So let me know if you like these. Let me know if it was enough hours for you, like, five hours for, like, a lipstick. But, um... Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Um, I love this. It's super hydrating. It's super comfortable. Lightweight. Doesn't flake. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't go on my chin. I love it. No complaints except maybe how it didn't last as long as I wanted it to. Maybe the wear. Just because I wish it wore a little bit better throughout the day. But that aside that it's amazing super comfortable and i would definitely recommend this for the winter time if you have dry cracked lips and you just don't want something matte and drying this would be awesome for you definitely check them out and this video is not sponsored if you wonder that no way um i don't have enough followers for that anyway <laughs> but yes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye